Hello my dear students, this is Shantanu. Welcome back to my channel again. With reference to my previous video on the series of antonyms, today's class will also be about selection of the exact antonyms. If not exact, at least the closest ones for the competitive exams of every kind. Irrespective of every kind of competitive exam, you need to practice antonyms to a great extent for the exam. So kindly keep watching my videos regularly, subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the notification bell icon for more videos. If you have anything to know regarding this class that I am just going to take, you can easily drop your comments without hesitation in the comment box section. If you want any more series, you can easily browse through my channel. You will find all the series relevant to the competitive exam. Now let's move into the class. Can you keep your focus on the board? Apart from antonyms, I will also try to give some in give some introduction or you can say give some introduction to synonyms. So chiefly I will concentrate on antonyms along with I also give some synonyms. Now look through the first word. The word is amplify. It's a verb. Amplify. Amplify. It's a trisyllabic word. It has three syllables. The class is not about syllables so I am not going into the details. But the what is amplify means enlarge, means enlarge, it suggests enlarge, now look through the option entice, what is the meaning of entice, make someone greedy, entice enticement, make someone greedy, entice enticement. Magnify, amplify, enlarge, magnify, all are equal, you can say all are synonyms. Now if I say shorten, shorten means it is opposite to enlargement or you can say enlarge, shorten, enlargement, shortening. Enthral means you can say greatly fascinated or greatly enamored or spell bound. So if I just write another synonym for the word enthral, you can say enamor. Entice means make someone greedy. Magnify, amplify, enlarge all are equal in meaning. But amplify, shorten both are opposite or contrary to each other. So here the exact antonym is shortened. That means option C. Now go next. Alleviate means palliate or reduce or mitigate. Something like that. Suit. Suit also means mitigating or palliating or alleviating or reducing. So it means mitigate. Alleviate also mean reduce or mitigate. So alleviate, reduce, soothe, mitigate all are equal. Rough means although G is not spoken out or uttered, it is called silent G, not smooth at all. Hasten is a verb, it means expedite or quicken. It means expedite or quicken. You can say expedite or quicken. Now go next. Aggravate means increase rapidly. Increase something rapidly. That is called aggravate. So when alleviate means reduce or mitigate. Mitigate the pain. Now instead of mitigating the pain, the pain is aggravating. The pain is going up greatly. So both are antonyms in meaning. 
Now go next. Concur. It's a very interesting word. Concur means agree. So if I write the meaning of concur here, it's a verb. It means agree. It means agree. Options talk back. Talk back means argue. A R G U E. Talk back suggest argue. Assent, concur, or agree. All are equal. So all are synonymous. Cease means total stop or halt. Castigate means castigate means punish. Now look through the question again. Concur. Whenever you are going to agree with someone, you don't need to go into any argument. But whenever you are not agree, there may be a matter of argument. That's why the here the antonym should be talk back or argue. Talk over. If we say talk over, talk over means discuss. It is not arguing. So here castigate suggest punish. So here the proper antonym is talk back. Now go next. Calumniate. Calumniate means blame or asperse or soil or malign. Blame or asperse or soil or malign. Even you can say criticize to some extent. Forsake. Forsake means give up or abandon. Give up or abandon. A B A N D O N. Enfold means hug, H U G or embrace, E M B R S C E. Vilify also means calumniate or blame or asperse or soil someone's image or malign, M A L I G N. Now, eulogize is a very interesting word. Eulogize means praise someone or admire someone greatly. Praise someone something or admire someone something greatly. So, when the meaning is calumny, it means blame or asperse or vilify or soil or malign. The opposite should be admire or eulogize or praise. Even you can say penigitis. So, there are many words. So, the exact opposite word is eulogize here. Now, look through the overall class. Amplify suggests enlarge. The opposite is shorten. Entice means make someone greedy. Enthrall, fascinate. And about all are equal in meaning. Even you can say spellbound. Alleviate means reduce or mitigate or bring down or cut down. Something like that. Even you can say soothe or mitigate. Rough means not at all smooth. Hasted means quicken the process, expedite the process. But here aggravate means increase rapidly or enhance rapidly. So here is the opposite word. Conquer means agree or you can say assent or you can say conquer, agree, assent, etc, etc. Consent, there are many words, consent, assent, agree, etc, etc. Talkback means argue or clash of opinion that is called talkback. Cease means total stop or halt, H-A-L-T. Halt can be a noun or verb depending on the sentence structure or syntax. Castigate itself is a verb. It means punish. It means P-U-N-I-S-H punish. Castigation, castigate. So here the opposite was is talk back. Calumniate means vilify or blame or asperse. A-S-P-R-A-C. Now look through the option. Forsake means give up or abandon. Or relinquish. Enfold means hug, H U G. Or you can say embrace, E M B R C E. Vilify, calumniate, all are equal. But eulogize is a word that suggests admiration or praise or approbation. A P P R O B A T I O N. So calumniate, eulogize, both are antonyms to each other. That's why the answer is eulogize. So, this is my short class for the day so far as antonyms are concerned. 
if you are unable to understand any part of this class you can easily drop your comments to clarify your doubts by making comments in the comment box section kindly keep waiting for my next class till then have a very